My dear students, today we have to study about 9th standard social science, geography, third lesson, atmosphere. In this lesson, we have to study about the composition and structure of atmosphere, weather and climate, factors influencing weather and climate, classification of clouds, winds, rainfall and all other things. Can you imagine life on the earth without air? No, that is essential for the survival of all forms of life. The blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. It held close to the earth by gravitational attraction. Let us study about the composition of the atmosphere. Atmosphere is a mixture of gases, water vapor and dust particles in different proportions. Nitrogen 78% and oxygen 21% are permanent gases of the atmosphere. They constitute 99% of total composition and their percentages always remain the same without any change. Argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, ozone, hydrogen, krypton, xenon and methane. Water vapor is also found in the atmosphere. The atmosphere includes dust particles, salt particles, pollen grains, smoke, soot, volcanic ashes etc. In 1772 C. Daniel Rutherford discovered nitrogen in atmosphere. In 1977, Joseph Priestley discovered oxygen in atmosphere. Structures of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is thick near the earth's surface and thins out until it eventually merges with space. The five atmospheric layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Let us study about troposphere. The lowest layer of atmosphere is troposphere. It means change. It extends 8 km to 18 km at the equator. It is also called weather making layer. The upper limit of the troposphere is called tropopass. Stratosphere lies above the troposphere. It extends the height of about 50 km above the earth's surface. It is also referred as ozonosphere. The upper limit of the stratosphere is called stratopass. Mesosphere extends between 50 km and 80 km. The temperature decreases with increasing height. Most of the meters nearing the earth get burned here. The uppermost limit of the mesosphere is the mesopass. Let us study about the mesosphere. Exists about the mesosphere. It extends 600 km. The composition of gas in the lower thermosphere is called the hemosphere, and the composition of gases in the upper thermosphere is called hydrosphere. Ionosphere is the layer of the thermosphere that contains ions and free electrons. Radio waves transmitted from the earth are reflected back to earth from this layer. At last, we have to study about exosphere. The uppermost layer of the atmosphere is called exosphere. This layer is extremely rough with gases and gradually merges with the outer space. This zone is characterized by aurora australis and aurora borealis. Aurora or cosmic glowing highlights produced by the stream of electrons distorted from the sun's surface due to magnetic storms. It was seen in the unique multicolored fireworks hanging in the polar sky during midnight. Weather and climate. Weather and climate are the terms that are related to the atmospheric conditions. Weather denotes the way of atmosphere behaves every day. The climate reveals the average of weather conditions in a long period of time. There are many factors that influence weather and climate, distance of the equator. Distance from the equator, altitude, nearness to the sea, nature of the prevailing winds, mountain barriers, cloud cover, ocean currents, natural vegetation. That are the factors that are influences weather and climate. Now let us go for the next topic that is the winds. The horizontal movement of air along the surface of the earth is called winds. That is, the while the vertical movement of air is called the air current, an anemometer recorded wind speed while wind then measures the direction of the wind. The unit of measurement is kilometer per hour or knots. Types of winds are four types. 
Planetary winds, periodic winds, variable winds, local winds. Planetary winds include straight winds with stellaris and polar stellaris. Straight winds blow from the subtropical high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt in both the hemisphere. The winds are very helpful for traders, so they are named as straight winds with stellaris or low pressure belt in both of the hemisphere. So, the velocity of the westerlies becomes so vigorous and fast to be called roaring 40s at 40 degree, furious 50s at 50 degree and screaming 60s at 60 degree latitudes. Polar westerlies Polar westerlies are cold and dry polar winds that blow from the polar high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt. Periodic winds or the second seasonal winds, they change their direction periodically. The winds so cause the differential heat of land and ocean. Variable winds, let us study about cyclones. The term cyclone is a Greek word meaning coil of the snake. Cyclones are centers of low pressure where winds form the surrounding high pressure area converge towards the center in the spiral form. Due to the rotation of the earth, the cyclonic winds in the northern hemisphere move to anticlockwise direction, whereas they move in the clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. Cyclones can be classified as tropical cyclones, temperate cyclones, and extratropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones are known as cyclones in Indian Ocean, typhoons, hurricanes, bog gears, willy willy, and jaifu in Japan. The super cyclone. A violent cyclone that hit Odisha on Friday, 29th October 1999 was one of the most devastating, the strongest storm to hit the Indian coast. Temperature cyclones have formed along the front where hot and cold air moses meet in the mid latitudes between 35 degree and 65 degree north and south. Temperature, temperature cyclones commonly occur over the North Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Basin, Russia, India in winter. Extratropical cyclones occur in the latitudes between 30 to 60 in both hemispheres. So they are called mid-latitude cyclones. Anticyclones or the opposition of cyclones. The wind from high pressure region move towards the low, pro low pressure region, the spiral form. Anticyclones are often accompanied by cold and heat waves. Now let us study about the local winds. Local winds are the winds that blow only in the particular locality for the short period of time. It has season and have local names like phone. Sirako, Chinook, Lu, Mistral, Bora. Clouds. According to their heights, clouds are classified into four types. The tall, high clouds, middle clouds, low clouds. Magic type of clouds are further divided into different types on the basis of shape and structure. Cirrus, detached clouds in the form of wild, delicate, fibrous, silky filaments. In the sky, these clouds have ice crystals and are dry and do not give rainfall. Zero cumulus, zero stratus of their forms. Middle clouds are alto stratus, alto cumulus, nimbo stratus. These are the clouds of dark color, very close to the ground surface, associated with rain and snow or sleet. The only sphere which contains all clouds in the atmosphere is troposphere. Low clouds, strato, cumulus, stratus, cumulus and cumulonimbus. Fluffy thick turning thunderstorm cloud capable of producing heavy rain, snow, hailstorms or tunnels. Precipitation. Precipitation is nothing but falling down of condensed water vapor in the different form as called precipitation. When the dew point is reached in the cloud, water droplets become saturated and stored to fall. Hence, they fall on the earth as precipitation. In climatic condition factor influencing the forms of precipitation mainly over temperature, altitude, cloud type, atmospheric condition, precipitation process. 
Main forms of perspiration includes drizzle, rain, sleet, snow, all extra. What is meant by rain? As the most wind spread and in important form of precipitation in places having temperature above the freezing point. It occurs only when there is abundant moisture in the air. The diameter of the rain drop is more than 5 mm. Sleet refers to precipitation in the form of pellets made of transparent and translucent ice. Snow is the form of condensed occurs below freezing point. Hulls or the chunks of ice. Hailstones are the form of solid precipitation where small pieces of ice fall downwards. Now let us go to the rainfall. The rainfall is the most prominent type of precipitation. There are three types of rainfall. Convectional rainfall, frontal and cyclonic rainfall, oxographic rainfall. Convectional rainfall is nothing but 4 o'clock rainfall. Because uh, it occurs regularly in the equatorial region in the evening at 4 o'clock. Now let's go to the orographic rainfall that is also called relief rainfall. In this uh, rainfall the cooling of air which leads to the formation of clouds and rain. The side of the mountain facing of the wind is called windward side. The side of the mountain that does not facing the wind is called leeward side. Now let's go to the humidity. It is nothing but, humidity is nothing but the aspect of atmosphere because it affects both weather and climate. The amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere is referred to as humidity. Humidity of the atmosphere is high. When it has large quantities of water vapor, the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is called absolute humidity. When the relative humidity of the air is 100%, the air are said to be saturated. Saturated air will not absorb any more water vapor. The temperature at which air gets saturated is called dew point. Humidity of the atmosphere is measured by the wet and dry bulb thermometer, also called hygrometer. Absolute humidity is expressed in the form of grains of water vapor present per cubic meter of air. Relatively, humidity is exposed in percentage. Now, students, we have at the end of the lesson, let us once go through the recap. Atmosphere is a thin layer of gases that surrounds the earth. The magic gases in the atmosphere are nitrogen 78% and oxygen 21%. Five layers of the atmosphere are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, the atmosphere, and exosphere. Atmosphere gets heated through conditions. Wind is the hydrogen moment of air. Wind blows from high pressure belt to low pressure belt. The four types of winds are planetary, periodic, local and variable winds. Cyclone is an area of low pressure surrounded by high pressure. Anticyclone is an area of high pressure area surrounded by low pressure. Clouds or visible most of condensed water vapor floating in the air. All precipitation occurs from clouds. According to height, clouds are classified into high clouds, middle clouds and low clouds. The main form of precipitation is